Hello, good morning. My name is Nicolas Berg and I'm working for Sony Display as a strategic marketing manager. So what I would like to do today is to show you the different application that we have with the different product that we want to announce in IEC. So shall we start with here? So what you have here is the Zyrus Canvas. So that's a new way of presenting a wall application and you can have a multitude of displays in any shape or form and in any location. So what we have here is a 12 screen wall and we have full HD bus screen, which means that you don't have any limitation on what you want to do. You can be as creative as you want. And the main application for that is when you want to have an eye catcher in your environment or in an airport, everywhere you want to have something different, that could be the application that you look for. We can also mix different sizes of the screen and we can have both 2D and 3D in the same wall. So that's to start with. Then we go into the corporate location. And what we try to show here is different things that we can have for corporate purpose. So you can see basically three Bravia B2B screens. Because one of the trends that we notice more and more in a meeting room application, we see projectors being replaced by Bravias, by screens. The, the reason is it's easy to install, easy to maintain, and the look that you have in the room is quite modern. So that's something that our customers do like to see. And we have a full lineup from 32 to 65 inch to go in that environment, as well as video conferencing room, where we see also a need for flat screen that are easy to handle. On top of it, we have also the lineup of projectors. So starting with the M series here. So that's our ultra portable projectors for executive members when they are uh, traveling a lot, you want something that is light, quick, instantly turn on and off. So that's the M series. So we have two models. XGA and uh, XGA with a uh, Y5 and less than two kilos. Then you have the D series. That's also for meeting room application. Not also, that is for meeting room application. So it goes up to uh, 3000 lumen. And this is our entry level projectors that goes into, at the moment, education. So we have it incorporated, but when you go to the education sector, you will see the E series. This is what we have currently in our lineup. So we have four models with different brightness and different resolutions. And we just have here the new installation projectors. So since a year, we introduced FH series, the first WUXG, which is beyond full HD resolution, which we have really good results with. Uh, we have a nice market share thanks to that uh, 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 new projectors. And we recently introduced the Little Brother, I would say, which is the entry level uh, installation projector, so with a fixed lens, where here you have different type of lens in order to uh, match the size of the meeting room that you want to have. Yeah? What you, we show here is a Bravia with a Zyrus application for signage application. So in corporate environment, if you go and you enter in, in, a, in a corporate in a reception area, you want to convey some message and you want to say welcome to the, the visitors. Yeah, we all these uh, projectors and Bravias are connected to the, to the network. And we have a tablet here so we can modify the content on the screen as we go. So Martin, maybe if you can show that, or maybe in the retail section, it would be easier. So just to say that we can be interactive, and that's the, that's the thing about digital signage, being interactive with our content and quick. Yeah? What you have here is, well, obviously, installation projector. And the two ones that I show you there are working here. So FH30, so beyond full HD on the right side, and the new Colt, which are our entry level series for installation. So it's in WXGA here and WUXGA here. Education area. So in front of you, you have more, I would say, higher education. So universities, business school, where you have big auditorium and amphitheater. So you need to have big sizes and also high brightness. So this is what we have with two projectors. So we have the new FH35 right there. So the big brother of FH30 that you've just seen on a corporate environment. And on the left part here, or right part, depending where you look, you have the FH500, which is a 7,000 lumen brightness. Yeah? So that's mainly for universities and big rooms. Here you have what we call the short throw and ultra short throw. And the difference that you see is short throw and ultra short throw are close to the wall. The idea is to avoid when a teacher is in front of the screen to have the shadow effect. So what we have here, we have a demo of the ultra short throw, the SW535. So if you can maybe do a quick demonstration on the uh, 
interactivity that we will launch in a couple of months now. So you have four main functions, mouse, whatever you do with the mouse, you can do it with the pen, drawing and whiteboard mode. And also we will support dual pen, so you can have two students at the same time working on the whiteboard and you can register whatever you want to do. So that's a whiteboard. So basically you can do whatever you want, every shape or form, every everything you can do, mass formulas, whatever. And then you can save it as a, as a, a still image. So you see it's quite basic. So there is a laptop connected to the projectors through HDMI and a USB cable. And then you have a pen with a camera on the short row, ultra short row, sorry, that can detect all the move and everything that you do. Quite a simple and easy solution. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here you have the short row without any interactivity. Yeah, just a, a normal, uh, well, I would say a normal short row to go after uh, uh, primary school and secondary school. And here, still in the education environment, this is the full lineup that we wanted to show. Uh, as I said, so we have on the extreme left, the more high end with high brightness for, as I say, university business school. And here you have, here you have the entry level, so E-series, and that we will, uh, that we have now uh, uh, in, in the education environment, but more and more we see a trend towards ultra short throw and short throw. But still, having said that, we still, there is still a need for replacement business for that kind of uh, projectors. And here, uh, now working, the two one that you just, uh, you just saw working. What we show here also is an another application. It's a uh, public display screens. So I did talk about the Bravia B2B for corporate environment. We do also have a professional lineup. And the difference is that on a, with a public display, it's heavy duty products. So you can have it in landscape and portrait mode. Where we have it is a public display with on top of it an uh, 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 interactive application. So everything that you can do here. So it's as we do for ultra short throw and short throw, we have this interactive function and we can do some, some courses and recall whatever that we do on the screen and use it later. So it's another, another theme, I would say, on education. We see more and more interactive. So we have it for both projector and screens. Another topic, but I will be quick on this one, this is the Opsiget server. Many what it does is a web management system. So Basically, I let you imagine you are having a course in a university and you will have a camera that is located here and at the same time, the camera will record the teacher and also it can record a PowerPoint presentation and a student for any web browser could access instantly the content. So we have more and more instance learning and that's why we come with this Opsigate server to have, uh, to have that kind of application. We are in the retail section. So retail is all about digital signage. And if there is one thing that I would like you to see here is the new public display, 55 LED active that we have here. So what you see is the brightness, which is quite high for semi-outdoor environment and for a, a, sun, a bright environment mainly. So this is a 55 LED public display. And what we show here also is public display in interaction with the signage software. So what we have here is uh, just Zyrus, our Zyrus software, running some contents. So what we could do, let's imagine you're in a restaurant here, what you have on the screen could be modified through the network with the tablet that we have. So if we want to add another like chips or if we want to change the pricing, directly you can interact with the screens and the tablet and you have it on the, on the screen. Martin, can you show that? So as we speak, le let's see, and here, you have another, but I don't know with the video it will, how it will look like. We have a screen running with Cyrus and 3D without glasses. So it's another application. What you need to see here in Cyrus, we can start with very easy entry signage solution up to something more complicated with 3D, with managing a lot of monitors all around the, uh, the, the environment. And you can have different kind of content, video, several video, content, uh, text layers, still pictures. So we can start from basic
to very complicated solutions. Yeah. And here is the last section, is the home theater section, where we present the first commercially available 4K native projectors. So we introduced 10 years ago for simulation and for digital cinema a 4K projector, which is four times the full HD. Now we bring that to the consumer living room, and in that room that is closed now, we have the, we have the VPL VW1000ES, which is a 4K native home cinema projector doing 3D, uh, 2000 lumen brightness, and around a million for one contrast ratio. So I can talk endlessly about it, but I think the best way to judge if it's a good product is to go and see the picture quality there. It's amazing.